Yo, what up? It's your boy TTM Reacts, and I'm back once again, aka King TTM, aka TT Taught Me, aka TTM Reacts, or whatever that you want to call me. Hey, they kind of rhyme. I'm a natural. I'm playing, but uh, y'all seen the the video I uploaded last? Uh, when I was explaining uh, why y'all ain't seen me in a few days, it probably been like four or five, maybe six, and it's cause. The hell? It's cause uh, hold on. Well, I could talk and do this at the same time, but it's cause uh, uh I did two reactions, right? And then I tried to hook my shit up to the computer, and my computer corrupted the card, or the card became corrupted between the transfer from my camera to my computer so I lost my reactions and I also explained that I'm having uh, problems with my tooth I gotta find a dentist to uh, or a surgeon to pull my molar because it's so close to like my wisdom tooth that doesn't need to be pulled anytime soon according to the dentist that the dentist can't do it their self so they have to refer me to a specialist and I have to get oral surgery from a outsource you know what i'm saying so if i'm not myself and uh y'all it seems like my mouth is closed very tightly it's because there's a hole in my molar and when i open my mouth wide enough and wind gets in there and the wind hits that tooth that shit hurts like hell you know what i'm saying so we're gonna get straight into it man uh, we finna get into Hobson. If y'all not familiar with Hobson, Hobson is a rapper that I've been familiar with for at least the past eight to nine years. He probably been out before that, but that's when I became familiar with him. Um, Hobson is a dope underground rapper. Uh, a lot of people refer to him as the Black Eminem. Uh, from the type of music he do and uh, concepts and the type of stuff he talk about but he is very very talented and I am a huge fan of Hobson um, earlier today he wrote an Instagram post uh, on one of his pages explaining that basically he needs some time to himself and you know what I'm saying we all need time to ourselves get our mind right uh basically that's what he's saying he needs to get his mind right and he left a link a preview of the song i'm gonna listen to and uh he left the link and i clicked the link and it's a full song so i'm gonna react to it for the first time with y'all and this will be my first time listening to it and this will be me kind of introducing y'all to some of the type of music i listen to and hobson is one of those people you know what i'm saying so y'all may become fans of him as well God damn, my phone be blowing up all fucking day. Uh, what I want to do, let's get into it. This song is by Hobson called I Don't Want It. Let's go. This will probably be the last song that I'll come out with for a while. I'm sorry to all my fans. I always think of Robin Williams, someone we love now, we saw him killing. He made us all laugh as adults and children. Shit, all the millions that he had. I wonder what were his thoughts and feelings five minutes before the belt had cut his breath off and killed him. Probably some. Mm, it's one of these deep songs. Uh, I don't think Hobson is saying he's gonna kill himself. I just think he, he's just saying I need time for me. I need time for myself. I need time away as Marcus. Marcus is his actual name. I I believe he is just saying he needs time to himself deal with his mental issues or life issues that he got. Um, a lot of people think celebrities don't have issues but because uh, they got a lot of money. But a lot of these celebrities have also killed themselves over having mental issues. You know what I'm saying? A lot dealing with the industry, a lot dealing with everyday life because at the end of the day, they are still human. But I pause there because I wanted to bring that bar back. He said... I always think of Robin Williams, someone we loved and who we saw appealing. He made us all laugh as adults and children. Shit, out of the millions that he had, I wonder where, what were his thoughts and feelings five minutes before the belt that cut his breath off and killed him. 
Like, where were they? Like, he was making us laugh, right? Y'all get the bar, you gotta explain it. I'm like my thoughts now. What goes up is gotta fall down. I guess I pour it all out, cause right now, the Reaper's in the room visiting. So if I do leave, at least you know why I did then. It started way back then when I was a kid at first. Niggas bullied me when they saw that I was an introvert. I was never cool, had no friends, no chicks would flirt. Every school year, it's like all my issues were getting worse. My whole life, they was calling me corny, stupid. I never had a dad who was dead. A mentor me through it. Skateboarding was my escape. It wasn't just for amusement. My issues kept reoccurring, so I would resort to music. Ah, uh, about... now that one, that one hit me hard, bro, because... Bro, I got so many, so many, so many, so many issues. You know what I'm saying? And the only result for me and my life to deal with my issues is for me to make music. You know what I'm saying? And listen to it. I'm getting teary-eyed because, bro, that's so... It touched me. Because, bro, I've been dealing with all of these issues I got for 20 years, man. 20. 20. This year, it, it was 20 on my birthday. But music is the only thing that I, besides my children, of course, but we get in those dark rooms, we, we close doors, we, we cry behind closed doors and curtains, cry in the shower, and we a whole different person into the people that are fans of us, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all see me be um, happy for the most part, live, energetic, which that is... That's really me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also introverted, like, you know what I'm saying? If I see most of y'all in person, I'd probably be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not not like I ain't gonna talk to y'all, but I, I'd be shy because I am introvert, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just easier for me to talk to a camera than to talk to a person in person, you know what I'm saying? But that, that bar just stood out to me because music is my go-to with all the issues I deal with, with Child support, baby mama drama, you know what I'm saying? Just suicidal thoughts, all of that. It, it temporarily goes away when I make music. When I'm making music, that's all I'm thinking about is music. But uh, let's continue. About the burdens that were sitting in my heart. I've been about the way I felt from swimming with the sharks. My mom was always working, so I'm bone stripped and ripped apart. Ain't no fucking family memories, ain't no pictures at the park. And I thought the world is about to see hell come. And I'ma live the good life everyone else wants. And in that moment, my tears dried and I felt numb. Then years later, I blew up the mission was well done. I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. No more. position to be giving friends money like that but I I definitely understand what he mean that whole segment right there is people just wanting money from him because he blew up he got all this money now money that he worked for not that they worked for no money that they help him get you know what I'm saying money that he worked hard for and they are but he was so big hearted he was just handing paper out left and right you know what I'm saying and they just looking at him like a ATM machine and when he didn't give them money or he stopped giving them money, they stopped fucking with him. He became their enemy. Like, y'all didn't work for this. I did. I don't have to give y'all nothing because y'all are my friends. Y'all didn't help me build none of this. You know what I'm saying? Support me. Cool. You supported me like a fan would or should. You know what I'm saying? Did you put money into my equipment did you pay for me to get to shows did you you know what i'm saying it, the list goes on let's go new best friends that i just met someone plotting to build me a deathbed all because
Cause they kept on putting wax songs out that no one's impressed with So why the jealousy they diss me, you fucking guessed it <laughs> At least I had my squad, Jared, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz I knew we stick together, stuck in this chaotic biz We had it all figured out, and had a lot to give It was part of all you for life, who want a problem, bitch? Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we parted ways 2016 knows were some of my darkest days Ask us all, whose fault was it? Ain't hard to say But it was due to money and all of my bonds that start to fade ah. Yo, I, I'm fucking with this song because it's so real I love realism in music But, um, just that segment to break that down for y'all Uh, Hobson was in a group slash label called Funk Volume Um, it was Jaron, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz uh, Hobson himself and Dame which is Swizz, Swizz's brother but Dame was more like on a business tip of, of things you know what I'm saying so they had the group and he's basically saying he thought it was going to be fuck volume for life you know what I'm saying fuck everybody fuck volume for life we're going to be in this together forever um, which it was everything was great and then he started realizing there was issues with money and basically the group broke up over money uh for good in 2016 and after, shortly after that Hobson started uh undercover prodigy which is up his new label uh, which i believe he is the only one on at this moment and it's not even a label it's a brand it's a label slash brand it's all of it but he's the only one on it for the meantime, um, probably because he's having these issues as he's mentioning, and uh, so he's still kind of building this brand, especially out of the success volume funk volume had, which we was hardcore fans of, and hardcore fans of enough to still be fans of each individual person that was in a group, you know what I'm saying? But uh, letting my girl tell me she's pregnant, this was something I never expected. Her and I weren't on good terms at the time, man, it was hectic And I was scared if she kept this baby, I might regret it Mainly because her and I had a fucking toxic relationship Last thing we need is a fucking toddler to raise in it True. Having a baby is great, but not as amazing When you got two parents who always fighting, hollering, breaking shit Present day, all my people are gone No real friends, just leeches around, eating the crumbs No family bonds, no FB, can't be with my son No fucking girlfriend, I swear I thought that she was the one I feel alone Hop is putting it out out there. Um, we break that last segment down for y'all. Um, Hopson dated this girl that live in Australia. She still lives in Australia. A few years ago, uh, he ended up getting a pregnant. Um, something happened during the pregnancy. He found out that she was sleeping with her personal trainer um he found out she was working at the strip club while she was pregnant uh basically he snapped conda basically he just pushed on the bed but of course that's fucked up even just to do that um just pushing on the bed and she was pregnant and he admitted he was wrong when he did that um so he got in trouble overseas in australia Basically, long story short, he got banned from Australia, couldn't come back. I still don't know if he could come back. Um, the baby mama kept him away from his son because she knew that he couldn't go over there to go see him or pull up. And so she kept him away for however many years. The kid is still very young. Like, the kid is under five years old, uh, maybe under four. But uh, she was keeping him away. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, she was keeping him away because he couldn't go over there, obviously. And then it, it's just bothering him. Like, I'm way over here. I'm trying to be a dad. And I can't be a dad because my baby mama won't even bring my kid over here to the U.S. So I can spend time with him so he can know his dad. And... It's just a whole fucked up situation, which is probably adding a lot to his mental health, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <sighs> yo, let's go. Get my fans what they want from me. I'm struggling to build this UP company. I'm begging on my fucking knees like, God, please help me because I can't fucking breathe. I'm trying to smile, but pain is cutting me. Show me that I'm more than just a rapper. Show me that this life that I've been working on is meant to be more than just a disaster. I hope this message I'm sending is flowing up above instead of focusing on fame. I should have focused.
said I gotta go find myself I hope you all can understand uh hop we do understand we definitely understand we all gotta find ourselves we gotta take breaks from we gotta sacrifice and take breaks from our normal everyday life uh because our health is way more important we ain't got that long here on earth and I'm not only talking to hop I'm talking to everybody in general everybody watching this video you know what I'm saying we, our mental health is way 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 too important for us to neglect it and do some stupid shit and like I ain't realize I needed help till I was 21 like I was in it in and out of mental institutions through my adolescence teens you know what I'm saying uh but at that time I was like why the fuck they keep putting me in here I don't need to be in here I don't deserve to be in here I'm fine you know what I'm saying? At that time, I'm thinking I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Uh, 21 is when I really realized. I don't know. My my mind frame just changed, and I uh, I thought about everything. I was like, damn, something really is wrong with me. I do need medicine. Uh, they put me on medicine for a reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to come to the realization that I had issues. But uh, that's a very, very dope song. It's one of those more personal songs from Hopson. Uh, he does that a lot, but that's not only the type of songs he do. If y'all haven't heard of Hopson, definitely go to his channel, which is Hopson TV all together. H-O-P-S-I-N-T-V all together and check out some of his music or just search Hopson on your favorite streaming service and find some of his music. It's, he's a very, very talented, dope artist. Shout out to Hobson, shout out for the realness. Uh, Y'all know what to do, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, leave your request in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as possible. My social media links are also in the description box. If I see them, I'll also get to them as soon as possible. It's been another TTM reaction.